Hello Internet. So today I've been viewing the Red Star operating system uh, from North Korea, but this is not the actual topic today. Uh, let me try to minimize this Red Star operating system so that we can continue with our actual topic today. So today we shall be dealing with the open source intelligence um, of Google uh, Mail, that is the Gmail using the tool called um, it's called Ghand. you can find it on the github repositories here uh, let me say you hunt for Ghand. so you can google search it then this is where you will actually get it you can download it or git loan it so you can easily integrate with your system by installing it and then trying to see how you can run this script this is a very nice python script uh, they said that you can output some of this information right here um, I'm hoping to, to to put the link below if you can see you can try to download it and then make use of that tool so you can be able to see by yourselves so already I have uh, installed the dependencies and then make sure that I I also uh, had the groom driver installed because it's one of the dependencies there and then I have it in my directory so already I have done all that so I can list into this so that you can be able to see one of the things that is a requirement is the is the cookies you you need to make sure that the the cookies are, are installed here because we know that data scraping or web scraping is actually on the basically on the on the social networks requires you to have the cookies or the token generated that means you can use the um, the usernames and passwords in order to 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 have the the good data scraping techniques so here we will be using the the i will not show you how to install for for this tutorial and if you have a problem please you can contact me and i can help you to be able to install and run this script and what we are going to do is to simply python python3 hunt.py and let me check with this email this is the email that i have authority to use in order to check um uh, how we can use this tool because this is my other email so I can be able to see by doing some open source intelligence inside it so let's try to check for the some of the information that we can be able to get one of the things that we can see is the the names and we can see the email and the email ID so this is some of the information that we are able to get then Possibly it has got a YouTube channel. Let's try to see. This is this was my old um, my old YouTube channel. So let me copy this because I don't want to open it in Chromium browser. And let me copy that. So we see that we have um, Google Photos. There are three photos. So I want to see some information such as um, the location, maybe. So those are some of the things that you can be able to see. So this is the the old channel of mine. So I've been using this channel. Uh, so before I, I, I migrated to this one. So this is my channel. Please like and subscribe to my channel and make this channel to be able to grow. Um, so let's migrate here. Then you can be able to see that this is actually true. Uh, you can see that there is a probable um, location here that is Le Journal Soto, yes. Um, and Google Maps, one reviews found, that means it can gather all the information about this certain individual. So one of the, the emails that I, I can check here is, um, let me say, uh, Tower. Not Steve at gmail.com so it can also tell you if the email is uh, not actually existing 
so you can see that there are active google services for this person he has activated youtube google photos that Im might imply sometimes that they, they might be using an android device to log in but sometimes um let's try to see what will be the final result here because we can find even the google id so this is the good way to to gather information from a gmail account some of the information can be beneficial for forensic investigators some information can be so we have got near 45 reviews found okay on google maps so you can see that this person is actually active on google plus or in on google maps so i believe that um they are actually uh, busy here so let's wait a while and then see actually what is going on so let's um let's wait um while this is still fetching these reviews if my internet is fast enough then it will not cause any errors but should it happen that i caught the problems so i uh i will see the problem uh maybe it will return an error so let's wait a while and then see so then now we can be able to see that actually um this is a probable location that is very high this person might be staying right here and this is a very very good information about this uh, about this person so this is how to to get an a location from a gmail account so this is one of the good ways to see um how you can gather the the information from a, a gmail account and if you like this tutorial please like and subscribe and then please remember to to press on the bell so that you can be able to get notifications in in the case i created the, the other content so please guys uh, let's push the youtube algorithm if you like my content that will make me make more content that means um my content will be able to reach more people and then more problems shall be solved so please uh, like and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching